Let us say you are given the sales file and you are asked to find out what was the sales of the pencils done by Jones in the eastern region. What we do initially, we go to the eastern region and we filter out anything that's not east. And that's done. Now my representative is Jonas. So let us just select Jonas. Let's find out what's the item. So what was the sales of pencils is the question. So finally, okay now if I select this, I get my answer. 363 dollars. So there's a lot of work involved in this. You are gonna go and refilter the stuff. So let me show you now how to do this on a single formula bar and if you wanna change the stuff around, you're gonna just change the names around. Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video we're gonna be back into the Excel. So we just did an installation of Excel in the previous video so in case you missed that I'm gonna leave the card up here so do check it out. It's a very simple way to follow and it's a very easy video. Basically the idea I want to give it to you is completely transform the way we use Excel filters. Let us say for instance I want to check the sales of an item for someone. I will use the filter on the item and I will check. I will use another filter if in case if that's necessary necessary filter one by one and come to the final list and then I will check the sum of that items that's how I derive my total sales for that item and then once you've done that they might ask you can I please know the sales of this item so oh yeah I'm sure and then you do the same process over and over and again in order to make this process very simple we're gonna use a special formula called DSAM which is basically database sum so in this video I'm gonna show you how we use this formula in Excel and how to make things really simple so that once you set this formula up you can instantly check all the items you want to check without having to do filters or filters. So D sum is basically just for the sum and we also have all the similar formulas which starting with D. So basically D stands for database and D sum D average and stuff like that. So now for instance for the ease of this video let's stick with D sum and let's do some formulas. So let us now jump into the Excel and see I have a sample data for you which I have downloaded from the Google. So now let's look at this data. So if we look at here the, we have the order date and then the next column is region and then we have the representatives so this looks like almost a sales data okay so the next item is item so we have sales at item by representative by region by date and then how many units of this item was sold and then we have the unit cost of the item and we have the total let us say you're given the sales file and you're asked to find out what was the sales of the pencils done by Jones in the eastern region? What we do initially, we go to the eastern region and we filter out anything that's not east. Okay, so here we are now filtering out everything that's not east. And that's done. Now my representative is Jonas. I guess that's how you spell it. I'm awful with names. So let us just select Jonas. And now let's find out what's the item. So what was the sales of pencils? is the question. So finally, okay now if I select this, I get my answer $363 dollars whatever. So this is the answer to the question. Now for instance, you're asked to find out what was the sales of another representative. So you have to unfilter all the filters you have done. So clear filter oh my god you have to be in the table so to clear the filters and let us say you want to know what was the sales of Andrews in the central region and it's the same item pencil so you reselect the whole thing again now you select the whole total you get to know it's two eight nine dollars so there's a lot of work involved in this you are gonna go and refilter the stuff so let me show you now how to do this on a single formula bar and if you want to change the stuff around you're gonna just change the names around so now let's get into this beautiful excel formula dsam so i'm gonna write my formula first of all i'm gonna unfilter everything clear all Okay, the only thing you need to know is you need to know the correct headings for this formula and you need to know the correct names, you can't misspell them. So for now, everything is laid out perfectly. So let's write the formula equals dsum and the first thing it asks for is the database. So let me just select the database for it. Control shift right arrow, control shift down arrow. This selects the whole table range. That's my database. Now. It's asking for the field. The field is basically the result that the formula needs to bring back to you. So here in this case, the result is the total. So I'm gonna simply go and type in, without any spelling mistake, I'm gonna type in total. And then 
I'm gonna write comma. So comma is basically how the syntax of Excel works. Uh, comma and then criteria. So what's my criteria? My criteria is region should be east and the representative must be Jonas and the item is pencils. I've selected my criteria data set. Now hit enter. There you go. $363. So that's how simply you get filtered some and you know without having to hassle around stuff like that. Let us get rid of the region. I want to know about the region. I guess since we have unique names of representatives working in it. I'm just deleting my region setups. So now, and then let's say you get the second question. I want to know what's the sales done by Andrews for the same item, pencil. So all what you need to do is basically go and copy Andrews name. Let me copy Andrews name and come back to the representative page there, Andrews. You get the total instantly without having to go through one by one filters. So that's how you make your life simpler and that's how you break down the complication and make things really straightforward. <laughs> so that's basically how the DSM works. Now I have a few additional questions so that let's go through and find out how to solve these questions one by one using the DSM formula. So in sheet one, I have all the questions. Let me just bring for A's to the base sheet. How many pencils were sold in total? So there is no representatives involved. So I'm just gonna delete the representatives. This is the sum of the total sales of pencils. So how many pencils were sold in total? This was the total sales, so the question is how many? So we need to change from total to units. Units. So 716 units of pencil were sold in total. That's your answer, copy that. Command shift V, okay basis values. So now the second question is, what was the sales of pens from Jonas? The representative is Jonas. So I'm going to put rep and spell Jones out. Jonas. Jonas. And how many pens did he sell? Pens. So he sold zero, which means something has gone wrong with my formula there. What is the sales of pens from Jonas? Sales. Okay. I want to know the total, not the units anymore. Total. And pen. Yep. So that's how it basically works at $1,500 was the sales of pens from Jonas. So that's there. What is the total sales in the central region? So that's a very simple, straightforward question. What is the sales in central region? So region and let me just copy down region and let me just put there central. So we want to know what was the sales of central. So I'm going to readjust my conditions. So there you go. 11,139 was my total sales in central region. So we never checked these out, right? We don't even know if this was the right answer. So let's check this out. So this is central region. What was the sales in central region? Come on. So I'm gonna just check the total of central region. So it's 11,139. That's exactly the same as that's mentioned over here. So let me just copy and paste these values over here. So the next one is what was sales in Q1 2020? So basically Q1 2020 is the first three months of 2020. So how do we find out that? So basically let's now follow the traditional method. So we wanna know what was sales in Q1. So let me just deselect all, expand 2020. I don't want everything. Jan, Feb, March, that's 2020, Q1. And the sales was shit. <laughs> the sales is 2100. So that's the sales. Now we want to get this over here. So that's a question for you. I would basically share the link to download the same file. You can share me what's the total sales for Q1 2020 from this file. So that's a small project for you and let me see your skills. How do you implement this DSM formula? I hope this video was quite interesting and let me know if you are in more into Excel and you want to learn more stuff, some more formulas and more easy cool tricks and tips or Excel shortcuts, stuff like that. I'm always happy to post some videos like that. So with that being said, let's wind up this video here. This is Mohamed Suraif and if you love watching, please do consider subscribing and liking this video and also share with your colleagues and I will see you all in the next one. Until then, stay tuned to my channel and bye! -bye.